Well, the Israel-Hamas conflict could result in a massive uncertainty for the tech sector. While Israel is already among the top tech nations in the world, it's the up-and-coming Palestinian tech industry that's been blown apart by the war between Israel and Hamas. Now, before the Israel-Hamas war, Palestine's tech sector was growing at a very steady pace. Despite being one of the most economically challenged regions in the world, in the past few years, the world had started to witness several top-notch companies emerging from Gaza. Gaza Sky Geeks, backed by Alphabet, the parent company of Google, is the largest tech hub in Palestine. In 2022, around 5,000 coders and developers from across the West Bank and Gaza graduated from the program. Those working in Palestine's tech sector estimate that as much as $10 million have been invested in the Palestinian tech ecosystem so far. Most of the funding is from international tech companies. While well, Ileana Montauk, the co-founder and CEO of a Palestine-based social impact startup, Manara has said, I'm quoting her here, the Gaza has been bombed many a times before. This time, it is completely different for the tech sector for a slew of reasons. Number one, electricity was cut off to the entire Gaza Strip. A major amount of infrastructure has been bombed. Most people have lost cell phone connections and also internet access completely or have access to 2G only on their cell phones. Meanwhile, as per the media reports, many tech companies are planning to shift their business operations to India or other locations. That is, if the Israel-Hamas conflict escalates. While well, more than 500 global MNCs such as Intel, Microsoft and Google have offices in Israel.